I just arrived at my campsite. Looks like I'm gonna be about the only tent camper here. I'm not too surprised at that. Lots of pads that a lot of people are bringing trailers out. There is a street back behind me, but I don't think it stays very busy um, at, at night. I'm not too far from it. It's one that wraps around the back of the lake. Um, got a little area here. I'm trying to decide. I think I know where I'm going to set my tent up. Said so it's going to rain tonight, so the water could roll down this little hill. And um, so I think what I'm going to do is set my tent up kind of over in this area right here. Um, and have the part of it over part of the tent will be over the gravel area so if it does rain tonight the water will just kind of run back down the hill So this is a fireproof material here that I'm gonna stick to this window right here. And that's where the stovepipe for my oven will come out. This is the spark arrestor that goes at the top of the stovepipe. Um, it helps if there are cinders that fly out, it catches them and stops from fires catching on the tent or dry, dry areas around the area wherever you're camping. I really shouldn't need this, but I'm putting it on to also um, tie it down because uh, it's going to get kind of windy and might rain tonight. That's a little fire starter. They're little just, um, they're things you're soaked in um, petroleum and wax. So just a little bit of petroleum and wax. So they burn a long time, kind of like a candle. So all I gotta do is light that up a little bit and it'll burn for a long time and start that wood up. Getting ready to, I wanna get the stove going. It's still too warm really to have this. The tent's gonna be boiling hot, but I, uh, um, I'm starting to get hungry and um, I want to get a bed of coals in there so I can get that ribeye cooking soon. Yeah, there's a lot of reflections still, sorry. Fire's just getting started. She's taking off. It's certainly not going to have any problem keeping this tent warm, <laughs> probably in sub-zero temperatures, I can tell you guys. I've seen it do it in Canada. I've seen guys um, at negative 30 degrees camping in this same tent with a wood stove. Oh, I cannot wait to get the cast iron pan on top of there in just a little bit. Doing a little prep before I get the ribeye on. Yes, a lot of mushrooms, they cook down. And I'm gonna use some of these for other meals. I'm gonna go ahead and just cook them up right now. 
It's a fun, a little warm in the tent. This is a damn warmer, it's gonna stay warmer tonight than they thought that it would. So I don't know if I'll end up burning this all night long or not. We'll see. Alrighty, be back when I get the ribeye down. Little yellow potato cooking up in some of that. Lovely butter. A little side dish to go along with the steak that's coming up next. That, I showed a picture of it, that is a sawdust brick. I got them at Tractor and Field. They have them for $2.99 for six of them. It's really an incredible deal. If you've got a wood stove that you heat your house with, I've seen people on YouTube buying pallets of these instead of wood because it's even cheaper. And it's a way to save, um, save hardwood. Um, this is a waste product that they turn into a burning product. And we'll see, they say they're supposed to burn for four hours. I'm not totally sure I'll need a four hour burn tonight. It's not getting as cold as the weather had said it would. It's gonna stay in the mid 40s um, as the sun's starting to get at an angle, as fire's starting to get more comfortable, but it's awfully warm in here. <laughs> it's wonderful. I put a couple pieces of wood back in here to heat the stove back up. Boil in some water to have a little coffee after dinner. I'll have a little arrow press. If you guys haven't seen that, so I make my coffee at home all the time. It's so much easier than a coffee pot for just one person. And I'll show it to you if you guys have never seen one. So somebody asked me, why did I set my tent up on gravel? Well, this is a tent. It doesn't have a floor. This tent has no floor. Um, it is um, a little hot tent. It packs up into absolutely nothing. Um, it's got an inner little tent that's inside of it that's just got mesh. It connects to the top and a couple points on the side, and it's got a floor on it and a raised bottom around the edge, and it does have a zipper closure on it. So um, there are bugs out already tonight, and so I can zip closed in this, um, and my cot is sitting on dry ground, not on the, um, not on the ground. Um, and also it's fine because my hot stove um, on the ground, um, I don't have to worry about the floor of a tent. Um, some hot tents, you um, do have a floor and you have to get special thick silicon mats and stuff that you put underneath the tent, underneath the stove to raise it up so it can't get the tent hot. I am boiling some water away right now. I'm getting ready to have some coffee after dinner. Cannot wait. Cleaned up my cast iron pan a little bit. I'm going to do it once more. I learned from my grandma, you never put water on a cast iron pan. I put a bunch of extra salt in it, let it sit for a minute, rub the salt around. That's it. I'll do that one more time. That's all that I ever do to a cast iron pan to clean it. Just relaxing a little bit, laying back, watching that beautiful flame crack. Waiting for my coffee. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening out here. I wish the leaves were out because it would sound so amazing with this breeze. It already sounds beautiful. 
I'll get out and show you around a little bit when I get my coffee done and maybe walk around if the light's still up. It's got one, two, threes. You pour water in. machine but it's better than drip coffee I do believe Wonderful sound, that means coffee time. Just push down with that kind of an even slow pressure. You'll hear the air expelling, that means all the water's out. One thing that a lot of people don't tell you, don't push it all the way to the end. Stop, don't push down on the coffee. That's basically an espresso strength kind of shot. I'm gonna add a little bit of half and half to that and water 
to make it a drinkable coffee. It's really a delicious way to make coffee. That's from my buddy here in Blue Springs, Barking Bean Roasters, makes that in a, out of his home, air roasted, delicious stuff. He'll be at an event with me on the 10th um, at Miller Theaters. It's getting a little cooler out here, but it's really not as cold as I thought it was going to get. The fire is starting to feel good inside the tent, though. A little bit of a sunset going on outside here by the lake. I'm going to take a little walk around, take a look at some of the other setups. More delicious meat from Valley Oaks Meats, downtown Blue Springs. Some of their bacon. <laughs> Some of the delicious bacon I've seen in a long time. Can't wait for it to cook up. I'm going to make some eggs later too. Best scrambled eggs you'll ever have. Cook your bacon first, leave a little bacon grease in the pan, throw in some butter, scramble the eggs in there, a little salt, a little pepper. I'm in breakfast heaven out here. Got the hot stove going, got the fresh breeze coming in, the sun's coming up. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Right there is what I cooked it on this morning. That's my little wood stove that's inside my tent. Put the cast iron pan right on top of there and cooked it. That's where I made my coffee this morning, my dinner last night, my lunch today, my breakfast tomorrow. This is a beautiful cheddar brat that I have um, cooking up on my wood stove for dinner tonight. Um, this was also made by Valley Oaks Meats, um, downtown Blue Springs. They make all kinds of delicious um, uh, sausages, breakfast sausages, and all kinds of links. Um, little Birdie told me they're going to have more stuff like this and possibly some lunch meats and stuff um, uh, coming this summer. A really a uh, big expansion, um, lots of news to come out of them. Great things to see a local business growing right down the town on uh, Main Street, off of Main Street in Blue Springs, Valley Oak Meats. I have an absolutely gorgeous uh, cheddar brat from Valley Oak Meats cooking up on my oak, on my wood stove. My second and last night here at the Blue Springs campground. Oh man, my tent smells amazing right now. Ooh. Yummy.
All right, you guys, so I you can hear me really good. The wind is blowing really hard. I tried to show people this. I'm gonna take this apart. I'll show you the stove pipe. I had a little trouble with it. It's, it's really flexible and it, it got bent a little bit. It is supposed to be a memory form and come right back to the form that it was in the very first time. I did that for the most part. This is a real, real thin material, and so I had a little bit of a problem with it. This is the bottom section that attaches right to the stove. expecting it to be pretty messy when I get inside. We'll see. I did it one burn at home before I came out here and I couldn't believe how much creosite was in it from just one tiny burn. Yeah, here we go. So, we unfold it. Let me quick scrub down. stores up. this thing it has some cranks in it and had some problems I'm gonna look around and try and find a solid one that will fit this unit or I may have to get a new one of these and try it I got some bad kinks in it and don't know if I want to use it next time a lot of people were asking me about this so I thought I'd show you a little bit more this was the spark protector on top if you're out in the woods what this does if there's um, sparks flying up it kind of stops them from blowing around to um, stop forest fires or catching your tent on fire Pretty cool little stove pot. Kept my tent really warm. Okay, you guys, and so this is the stove again. I showed some parts of this, but not completely. I need to clean it out a little bit more inside here before I fold it down. Okay, you guys, this is so cool. I already have little pieces that I swung down that locked the top in place. Close this front door. Now all you do is undo all the side pieces. Ah, the first thing. I forgot this last time. Here. You do fold the feet in.
How cool is that, you guys? Folds completely flat. I've got a case that this fits down in. Everything fits in it. It's like a little suitcase carrying thing. It is so cool, this little portable stove. Woods Walker is the brand. This was a less expensive one. The titanium is really thin, and that's what um, um, made the little tweaks in it. It, it. it kind of bent in a couple spots around the doors already. Um, I might have burned it a little too hot, but um, I can bend it back in one spot, and I'm going to do a little more checking with the manufacturer on it too. Very cool little stove.